Here we are in the QBO Gym. And the QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Each month covers a variety of new topics and scenarios. And to make it a little bit easier for you, we break it down into four different sections. So if you are looking to work on your bookkeeping skills, this is the place for you. And if you wanna do some of these on your own, be sure to join our free five day bookkeeping challenge. All you need to do is click on the link in the description after we go through the exercise. But let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be pulling this exercise from the May year one cardio section where we really focus on those basic skills. At the top here is an animated video to give you an understanding of what you, the bookkeeper, will be doing for your client Craig this month. Below that are, is the uh, pre-assessment interactive quiz that relates to the video up above. Under that, we have all of the exercises in this section. And at the bottom here is an optional area where after you have completed all of the exercises in this section, you will unlock some sample marketing posts that you can use on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's dive into today's exercise where we're going to practice recording the bank deposit. Go ahead and click on that link to pull up the exercise. I have it over here on the right side, so let's read through our scenario. Craig went to the bank and deposited all the money he received this week. This includes the checks you just processed to that were already in undeposited funds and then the cash from the farmer's market. So see a note below and we'll go through that in a moment. But you will need to be in the same session of the sample company that you did the previous exercise in. If you have not completed that one yet, go ahead and click on the link on the top right corner of the screen. That'll take you to that exercise, complete that one, and then come back to this one. They build on each other, so it's really important to start with that first one. I have the sample company here on the left side of my screen. This is the dashboard um, and happens to be the last page that I left off of from the previous exercise. Now that note that we were, that I mentioned here before about that uh, cash from the farmer's market, if you are no longer in the same session of the sample company as when you did the warm-up section, you will not have the cash from the farmer's market in undeposited funds, meaning it's not going to show up on that bank deposit transaction. You can always repeat the steps one through five of the sales receipt section of the slice sales summary exercise, which you can click on that link to get to it. You would just use any product or service. You don't have to set them all up again. You could just make sure that the payment method selected is cash and that it's $625 going into the undeposited funds. So you could do that. Um, you could go back and do that if you want, um, or if you're still in the same session of the sample company, you will see that on your screen. But alternatively, you can skip that part of the exercise knowing that your total is going to be different. Now I am in a new session of the sample company from the warm up exercises. So if you are in a new session of the sample company from when you did those warm up exercises, um, you will see what you, uh, your screen will show exactly what you are seeing on my screen. So let's go ahead and get started creating that bank deposit a transaction. We're going to click on the plus new button and then click on bank deposit. So the plus new button is on the top left corner of the screen. Click on that and then under there select bank deposit. Now, once it comes up for us, we are going to click on the checkbox at the top of the column to select all the transactions. So I'm going to do that right here. That is um, right next to received from. Go ahead and click on that. And I have the checks that we just received from Amy's Bird Sanctuary, Paulson Medical Supplies, and Sunshine Family Store from the previous exercise. And then there are two that were already sitting here in undeposited funds. As I mentioned in the previous video, you had to put it in undeposited funds so that it shows up here on the bank deposit and then once it physically makes its way to the bank the cash and the checks then it will show up here um, we can excuse me you can create a bank deposit transaction here to show that all of the things that were in undeposited funds have now been um, deposited into the bank so as mentioned before, you may, uh, if you were in a different session of the sample company from the warmups or did not repeat the sales receipt section, your total is going to be four hundred or six hundred twenty-five dollars less than what is here on this screenshot. I'm in a new session, so if you're in a new session, this is what your amount will be. But that's okay; it doesn't matter as much about the amount. It's just understanding the process of how you would make that transaction once uh, checks and cash have physically made their way into the bank.
But this is all that you have to do here um, now that all of these have been deposited. So we're just gonna click on the down arrow next to save and new and then select save and close. So click that down arrow, select save and close. And that is it. It is that easy to create a bank deposit um, once everything has been deposited into the bank. Now, if you like this exercise and you'd like to do more like it, be sure to join our free five day bookkeeping challenge. All you have to do is click on the link in the description. We move through the cardio section, again, focusing on those basic skills. With our next exercise, where we create a vendor credit and pay the outstanding bill. And I will see you in the next video.